Hey now, what's going on everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and this is a movie that I've been wanting to review for quite some time, but I'm just now getting to it. Fight Club is a 1999 film that was directed by David Fincher, and the plot of the movie is we meet Edward Norton, who plays a character that we don't know the name of. Which is kind of weird, right? It's, the whole movie goes on without him ever saying his actual name out loud. But I guess we can call him the narrator, because he does narrate as well as being in the movie. You see him at the very beginning, and he's a guy who's kind of coasting through life. He doesn't have a, a voice of his own, a thought of his own. He, he's at this job that he hates. I mean, he makes decent money. He's buying all of this furniture and stuff for his house that he doesn't, at the end of the day, give a shit about. But he thinks that's what he has to do to be happy in life. And he can't sleep. He's an insomniac. In fact, he even starts going to support groups. Groups like for people who have testicular cancer or just various cancers. So like these people are dying. And he's going to these groups, not because he's dying too, he just wants somebody to talk to, somebody that will listen to him because they think he's dying. <laughs> How fucked up is that? And then one day he meets Tyler Durden, who is played by Brad Pitt. And Tyler Durden, he's instantly likable. He's instantly a guy that you just want to hang out with. In fact, these two get so close to the point where they both develop and create Fight Club. Fight Club is an underground organization of sorts. There's no money involved, no betting, no drama. It's just, hey, if you need a release, if you need an, an output in life to where you just want to get some aggression out, you come here. Uh, the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. The second rule is you do not talk about Fight Club. And that's it. So... This, this underground group becomes bigger and bigger. In fact, Tyler even starts to almost take this to a whole new level. Project Mayhem. Edward Norton doesn't know about this. And when he finds out that they're almost going out and, and performing like terrorist acts and stuff, he decides, okay, this has gone too far. I have to stop Tyler and this group myself. Now, what I think of Fight Club is I love this movie. I do, I do. In fact, rewatching it now reminds me how much I loved it the very first time I saw it. I was pretty young when I first saw it, so obviously I probably only understood like half, if just a little more of what was going on. Like rewatching it now, there's so much in this movie, so much in the writing. I love it. I know it's based on the book with the same name. I've never read the book. If somebody has, let me know in the comments below. Like how does this movie compare to the book, uh, what's the similarities, all that, but I love the writing, I love being in Edward Norton's head and trying to figure out just how this guy thinks about the world, how angry he is inside and how much he wants to do this and do that, but he doesn't do this, doesn't do that, he just kind of goes along with life. In fact, when he's going to the support groups, he ends up meeting Marla, who is played by Helena Bottom Carter. And when you first meet Marla, she 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 looks weird, she has her own uh, style, her hair is all messed up, and she's a smoker, constantly smoking at these like cancer groups, imagine that. And and there's there is something attractive about her because she doesn't she has a I don't give a shit attitude and but then you come to a point where she starts sleeping with Tyler. And Edward Norton gets obviously a little jealous of that. But then there comes a point where when you find out more about Edward Norton's character, she becomes normal. She becomes the one who's like, holy fuck, now I understand her side of things a little bit more. Some of the supporting characters, we have Jared Leto, and I believe, if not one of his first movies, it, it was early. Uh, he, he has blonde hair. Um, he's in the Fight Club. There's even one scene where Edward Norton and Jared Leto have a fight, and Norton beats the holy fuck out of him, just bashes his face in. 
because he wants to destroy something beautiful. Sometimes I guess you get into that mood where you're so angry you just want to destroy something that's that's too perfect looking. Meatloaf plays this character Bob who Edward Norton meets at one of the support groups and Bob has bitch tits <laughs> and that's something that kind of becomes his character throughout the whole movie. But let's talk about Tyler Durden. Let's talk about Brad Pitt because Brad Pitt, this is easily my favorite character that Brad Pitt has ever played because when you first meet him, he is so charismatic, he is so likable, he is a guy that's like, fuck yeah, I don't want to hang out with him. Hell, if my house blew up, up in flames, all of a sudden in one night, I might call him as well. And instantly, you realize that there is something off about him though, where he just, he wants to get punched in the face. And then that's how Fight Club gets created. And you see he is a visionary. He is a guy who just excels at being the leader of something, of telling people what to do, of getting people to follow any random weird order that he decides to take out. And Edward Norton even, he, he's, I don't want to say easily influenced, but you see moments where he starts to act like Tyler, especially at his job with his boss. That one scene where he beats the shit out of himself just to get money from his boss without having to actually work there. It's it's crazy to see what Norton becomes after meeting Tyler. Tyler, he has so many jobs. He's a theater projectionist. He's a waiter at a restaurant, which is, I wouldn't want to eat there. And he sells soap. Just, I'm telling you, this character is so interesting, so fascinating on so many levels. But then when you get to the end of the movie, spoilers! I know, this movie has been out for like 16, 17 years, whatever it's been. It's been out a while. But I, I can't talk about this movie without talking about this specific thing. You find out at the end of the movie that Edward Norton has created Tyler and that he is Tyler. In a lot of ways. Tyler is not a real person. Brad Pitt is not a real person. All of the scenes where you see them interacting and when you see Tyler interacting with other people, it's actually Edward Norton doing these things. And it was Edward Norton beating himself up in certain moments. And it's funny rewatching it. I mean, I've seen this movie quite a few times, but rewatching it now, it almost, I don't want to say seems obvious, but because that's in my head, I can see all of those obvious clues. But whenever I, I have shown it to people, they always get surprised by that ending. So that shows you how good of a job it does to surprise you while still leaving clues, leaving breadcrumbs along the way. And I just, I find it more fascinating that Norton, this is a person that he wants to be. This is somebody that he wishes he was. And, and he was able to create such an organization, albeit they, uh, kind of terrorists. Some of the stuff they do is fucked up. And then the very end of the movie where Norton is fighting himself essentially even though it looks like he's fighting Tyler and then he decides to shoot himself in the in the mouth and you think he killed himself but no he didn't. He just killed that that part of him. And that shot of him and Helen the Bottom Carter and they're standing and they're seeing all the buildings fall to the ground from the explosions that Tyler created. Sure, it's an ending to where like, okay, maybe Edward Norton failed, but it was such a great shot, such a beautiful shot. The Pixies music playing at the end. I love this movie, I do. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time in my top 10 somewhere, I'm sure. I love this film, I can't say enough good things about it. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of Fight Club. Do you like it as much as I do? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!